so much, Erica. We are invited to attend a very special brunch. This mm -hmm. to help support patients and families of those living with Alzheimer's disease. And joining us with a great excuse to enjoy friends, family, art, and mimosas. My favorite. <laughs> is health anchor Liz Bonas. Liz, I thought you'd like that. Mimosas for Memories is a special event. It is coming up Saturday, April 27th. It raises money and awareness for families living with Alzheimer's disease. A local family medicine specialist training to work in geriatrics started the event back in 2016. It has now really grown since then. His name is Christian Gosvik, and he also had a family member with the disease that led him to start Mimosas for Memories. These are pictures of the event. It's a brunch with art that highlights the importance of memories at the Greenwich House Gallery on Ma Madison Road in O'Brienville. Christian and his husband Cody joined us this week to share more on our Sunday morning 6 a.m. show, What's Happening in Health. They point out that you can make mimosas with memory, saying ingredients such as pomegranate, juice, or other things. Make a good one, but I did ask about the real secret. Champagne, of course, about 75% champagne, and then 25% you can do pomegranate juice. The classic is orange juice. We've done peach before, um, pear juice before. So as long as you've got that 75% champagne, I think you're in good shape. So I love the connection between art and memories. Um, I think that art and um, medicine go well together as well. Um, we wanted to do something different, so that's why we went for a brunch time event and thought mimosas fit perfectly with that. We do have a link for all the details. Tickets still available. They support those living with this disease, but their real message is also to caretakers. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of evidence now that the person with Alzheimer's disease often outlives the caretaker mm -hmm. because the stress is on the person caring for them quite often. The money raised helps support families like that makes a big difference. I had no idea about that. That's heartbreaking. It I, is. When you think yeah. about it, the patient isn't aware that they're declining. Mm -mm. The yeah. other person is picking up the burden, and quite often you feel like you can't ask for help. You don't want to put them in a nursing home or an assisted living facility you want to care for them and yet they're not able to help wow. themselves it's, it's a lot of burden so it's a, I have a lot of friends going through this not just with Alzheimer's but that whole caretaker scenario you're talking about and you have to take time to recharge yourself if you're mm -hmm. a caretaker which when you're 100% as the caretaker yourself yeah, is a bit it's of difficult. a challenge yeah yeah, yeah.